So we know how to turn it on. We have touchdown. Let's actually get into something that's more instructional. You can obviously use this as a projector to show content, but let's take it to the next level a little bit. We're gonna start with a program called My Viewboard Whiteboard. Now you might see it on your desktop. You can see it right here. It says Whiteboard. If you don't see this app on your desktop, go ahead and check the Start menu by selecting the Windows icon in the bottom left corner. And then you can actually scroll down to the V section, V for View Sonic, and then open that folder and then you should see Whiteboard right there. Now, if you get into your Start menu and you don't see the View Sonic folder, you don't see Whiteboard, it's not installed, go ahead and stop this video Go watch the video on how to download and install and activate Whiteboard, then just come back and join us and we'll go over Whiteboard here. So again, go ahead and find it in your start menu or on your desktop, and we're just gonna go ahead and open this. Now, if you open Whiteboard and you get an activation box down here in the bottom right corner, again, go back to that other video that talks about how to download and activate Whiteboard just to make sure that you have it fully activated. If Whiteboard is activated, you should see this sign-in window in the bottom right corner. Also at this point, if Whiteboard has an update, you might get a notification here in the middle that says there's an update available for Whiteboard. You might wanna go ahead and pause the video and install that update before continuing. So what we wanna do is get comfortable with this. This is essentially a big, digital whiteboard, except we're not using dry erase markers. So if you walk up and touch on the canvas, you'll see there that it draws, right? Like it leaves a mark. Now I'm obviously using my hand. You can also use the stylus, whatever is more comfortable for you. So if we wanna write, again, just touch anywhere on the canvas. Remember also earlier, this is multi-touch. So when you're using the pen, you can actually write in two different spots at the same time. Again, that's the multi-touch technology. Now this pen tool that I'm using, it's located in the main toolbar. So you're gonna see this big toolbar here at the bottom. That's the main toolbar. You're gonna see this little directional arrow down here on the bottom left corner. Looks like arrows going away from each other. This is the move button. So if I actually touch that and drag, I can change my main toolbar to be on the right, obviously in the middle as you saw earlier, or you can put it over on the left. I'm gonna leave mine down here uh, on the bottom first for a little bit, and then we'll move on from there. So again, the pen tool is in the main toolbar. It's that icon right there. Currently it's on black pen. So if I touch, right, it's going to use uh, anything that I touch as a mark. Now, if I touch the pen icon again, it's gonna actually open up the menu where I can change colors. So if I want it to be red, now it's red, or if I want it to be yellow, now it's yellow. Also notice that there's three circle icons. This is kind of like a quick color change menu, so if you wanna quickly switch between red, black, blue, you can do that quickly. So remember this, this is really important. When you wanna activate a tool, touch it once, and then touch it again, that'll then open up the menu. If you wanna change the thickness of your pen, you can just drag that slider right there, or if you wanna try a different writing tool like the paintbrush or the highlighter, those are gonna be down here. Now, after we've made some marks here, we probably want to erase these. So right next to the pen tool is the eraser. Now, when I touch the eraser, remember, touch it once to activate it. Now, if I touch over these strokes, they're going to disappear, right? They're gonna erase. If I touch the eraser again, that's gonna open up the eraser menu. This allows me to change the size of my eraser, or you can probably guess what the trash can does. That's just gonna wipe out everything. Now, the cool thing is about the board, we talked about this a little bit, right? Multi-touch, you can write multiple things at once, but the board also can tell differences between, uh, for example, when I'm touching and writing like this, or if I take my hand and turn it into a palm like this. And if you actually take your hand and go flat against the board, see how it turns into an eraser automatically? This is called palm eraser. So I actually don't have to switch to the eraser tool. I can be writing, and then if I wanna erase, I can make a flat hand. Sometimes I, make, I like to make a fist like this. 
and it automatically activates the eraser tool. So no need to switch back and forth. The other thing that you'll notice about multi-touch is that if we go back to our styluses, you'll see that there's two different uh, sizes on the stylus. One is a little thicker and one's more pointy. So if I have my blue pen on like I do here and I'm writing, notice that I get that blue pen. But if I write with the pointy side, watch what happens. It's a thin red line. This is actually a default uh, for the pointy side and there's no magic computer chip in here or anything like that. It's just that the board can tell the difference between when you're using the thick side or the pointy side. So the pointy side will always be a pen, okay? I can't uh, activate another tool with it. So for example, if I have the eraser tool turned on, which we talked about a second ago, if I use the thick side, it's gonna be the eraser because that's the active tool. But if I switch to the pointy side, it's pen, it's not eraser because the pointy side will always be a pen. Now you might be wondering, how do I change the color or the size of the pointy side? Here's how you do it. Locate the pen icon in the main toolbar and touch the pen once with the pointy side to activate it and then touch it again. Again, make sure you're using the pointy side. That's going to open up the marker menu for the pointy tip. So now let's choose green. See the thickness is all the way down. So let's drag the thickness up so it's, it's thicker. Close this window. Now when I write with the pointy tip side, you can see it's green. So again, thick tip side is whatever active tool is selected. Pointy side is always writing. If you wanna change the color and the size of the pointy side, touch the pen tool twice to open up the menu and then choose your color. When you close whiteboard and open again the next time, this setting does reset. So it's always gonna default back to a thin red pen. So we know how to write, we know how to erase. What if I wanna draw a shape? So you'll see here, this is the shape menu. It's right next to the eraser. Again, touch it once to activate it. That's going to activate the rectangle tool. That's the default tool. If I touch it again, that's gonna open up my shape menu. So from here I have, uh, again, I can choose colors, I can choose thickness, and then you'll see my 2D shapes down here. Now next to that is the 3D shapes, or if you wanna draw a straight line or arrows, this menu here lets you choose those objects. Now this is sometimes a little confusing, but if I actually wanna draw the shape, uh, what I have to do is select it, so I'll choose orange here, uh, choose the shape that you wanna draw, and then close the menu, and you're actually going to touch and drag. So I'm actually physically making contact with the board to draw this shape. Uh, sometimes people try to uh, touch and drag the shape out like that, that doesn't work. Or uh, you might try tapping, that's not gonna draw the shape. The only way to draw the shape is to touch and drag. So physically make contact with the board. When you let go, then it's gonna place the shape on the canvas. The next tool we're gonna to look at here, this is the text editor. So if you have terrible handwriting like I do and you just wanna type, touch the T and then touch somewhere on the canvas and you'll see here that it opens the text editor. Remember you can type with your physical keyboard or we can open up that on-screen keyboard that we had earlier. If I wanna change the font size, just go here. Uh, usually somewhere in the 80s is a, is a decent, nice size. And then of course we can change the font style. Uh, all the normal things you would do with a text editor. And then to type, we just type like this. When we're finished, touch the X to close it, and then that places it on our canvas. What we call these tools, these are the basics. Basic whiteboarding, right? You can write, you can erase, draw some shapes, those kinds of things. But my page here is really messy. How do I make a new page? Well, down here, you're gonna see a piece of paper with a plus icon. This is actually your new page icon. It's located in this smaller toolbar. It's actually called the floating toolbar, but some people do just call it the small toolbar. If I touch that piece of paper, you'll see here that it gives me a brand new blank canvas. And if I wanna go backwards and forwards between my pages, 
That's what those icons there are for. So backwards and forwards. If I want to know what page I'm on, this here is the page manager. So you'll see there's a number two right there telling me that I'm on page two. And if I touch that icon, it's going to open up a PowerPoint type preview uh, where I can see all my pages together. Uh, I can also delete pages. So that's the delete button there if I want to get rid of something. Now let's close this and make a, another new page. Uh, you'll probably notice that we just have this plain white background here. What if we want to change our background color? Well, in the left corner, it's kind of hard to see, uh, there's a mountain icon. This is actually your backgrounds. And when you touch that, it's going to open up this menu here. Now, these are some of the pre-built backgrounds that you can find. Uh, if you want to change the color, you'll see that there's a color palette icon. This just lets me choose a solid color. So if I want a green background or blue, right? Something that's just a little prettier than that plain white background, you can select those. The other thing that we can do is we can choose what are called original content backgrounds. So the icon that looks like a whiteboard with a red my cloud on it, these are called original content. And you'll see here that uh, there's a subject section. So by default, it goes to arts and humanities. But if I click this menu, I can choose other content areas. So uh, for example, if you go down to reading and writing, this is going to open up the reading and writing section. It starts off with some uh, kinder primary uh, tracing pages for letters. But if we scroll down, you'll see that there's other kinds of backgrounds that we can use. Some of them are more for just kind of decoration, right? Enhancing your lesson. Uh, but some of them have uh, instructional purposes. So you'll see things like sight words and those kinds of things. Uh, if you want to do uh, any kind of activities or games like those, you can. Once you have a background and you want to apply it, uh, if you're doing calendar, then what you're going to do is you're actually going to touch that background. You'll get this notification that says change background. You can apply to all pages, but I don't recommend doing that because every page in your presentation is going to get that background, even new pages you create. So I always choose this page. And you'll see here that it's applied that background uh, onto my canvas. And now I can use my basic tools to write on top of it. Also, don't forget, if you teach other content areas, go explore these. Uh, some of these may not seem intuitive. So for example, uh, if you go to the math section, you actually won't find graph paper there. Uh, you'll actually find graph paper under grids uh, if you need those kinds of tools. So, these are the basics. This is just to kind of get you started. So in review, we talked about the basic writing tools. So you have your pen, eraser, and text. Okay, those are your basics. Don't forget that you can use palm eraser or you can use the styluses uh, to write. If you need to make new pages or page management, that's all there in the floating toolbar. And then backgrounds are in the far left corner. So if you weren't following along, go ahead, go to whiteboard, try these three areas out, play around with it, see what you can find and get more comfortable using these because everything we do from here on out is going to build off these tools.